What's up with y'all, man? It's Blake Vlogs, and I'm back, and I'm here with Ray So Wavy. Stud Talk 101. Why do studs date straight women? See, I don't even know what to say. I'm curious. I got questions. I don't know how to ask the questions, because I don't know if you're going to fight me or you're going to get mad at me. I don't know nothing. So... Like this video, comment, and subscribe to the gang, man. Comment, let me know what y'all want me to do next. Let's get into this video, man. For real. She talking about sucking straps, so she going both ways. She tripping though. I ain't gonna lie. She ain't gay, cuz. She not gay. She can't be. I'ma just say, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna say honestly, not necessarily, I don't just tell a girl to do that during sex. I Like, 
really gonna be your best thing. Or I mean, some people not y'all, yeah, cause some people do need people around them, like when they really going through stuff. But me, I'm just one of those people that like to handle shit on my own. Like I don't know. Yeah, I'll be to myself. Like I don't, I don't mess with nobody, and I, I don't know though because for me, I try to like I. It's, when I be coming out of bad breakups, like because of how I am in relationships, like I stick with my person so hard that like it's saying that like when we done at the end, I'm already like you know, yeah, I'm already moved on, like I'm past it. So it's like I give myself time, like when we officially done, like I'll be to myself. But then it's just like then maybe like a month or two, or maybe even like I entertain, I entertain somebody just like just because you know just to talk to. But yeah, it's just like. That makes sense, that makes sense. All right, somebody said, talk about the idea that studs have to act like men to be studs. To be honest, y'all, just because you a stud don't make you a man. Like, it's just a masculine term, but you still a female. So I feel like, if you feel like just because you call yourself a stud, you need to be a man, you need to have a self-reality check because at the end of the day, you really not, you don't have no dick. Like, let's just keep it real. You don't have no dick. You don't, you might have some dominant. You don't have no dick and you soft, nigga. That's what I mean. Yeah. You soft. Fuck is you talking about? Stud soft. Let a stud. What? Ah, what? Ah, work a stud, boy. For real, it's a lot of studs out here think they tough till they step to a boss. <laughs> they be, uh, 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 I'm just going to get the kid. Yeah, you better be. Trait, but you still a woman. So I feel like you really do need to have a self reality check, y'all, because we really not men. Like, it's just that simple. You still have a female body part. That's point. All right, so this is a good one. Somebody said, why do studs like straight women? <laughs> dang, I just said that, huh? Oh, dang, that one. I'll go first. All right, so basically for me, I just more so like going for girls that's like, you know, they cute as fuck, all the niggas they want them, and it's just like they hard to get to. You like that like, challenge? Yeah, I like the whole challenge part of just like being able to like pull somebody that you know like wasn't gonna go at first or wasn't going or ain't gonna go for nobody else, you know that it's it's that part for me, so I can't speak for nobody anybody else. I'll say for me, I like what I like and like it just so happened to majority of the time they happen to be straight. Like I wouldn't mind dealing with no lesbian, don't get me wrong, but most of the girls that I like dealt with men their whole life. It ain't like I just go and just be like, Oh, I choose her like like it's just more so like damn like you ain't never fucked with a girl. Or like, it just, I don't know. It just always happened to me, y'all. They always end up being straight. It just, I don't know. I just don't be looking up with gay women, bro. All right, the next question. How do y'all feel about bisexual women? I don't, I, for me, I really don't have no problem with bisexual women just because of the simple fact that for the question before, I talk to straight girls. So right. I guess like, so they all mess with dudes and and more so like even though they even though they mess with dudes or whatever the case is, like they kinda sorta like when they mess with me, they don't be giving me the impression that they be messing with dudes. Yeah. So Yeah. That makes and sense. I, so it never really gave me a problem to so I might have one or two. Yeah. But I feel like for me, I've experienced like I didn't have bad experience with bisexual. So it's like preferably I wouldn't prefer to date a bisexual woman. Of course, the, the woman that I'm with now, she's bisexual, but it's like, she never give me the impression that she wants to be with a nigga. I can't deal with another female like that. Like, honestly, stud, this some real shit. If you dating a bisexual woman and she's giving you the impression that she still really, really likes niggas, more than likely she's going to end up with a nigga. No cap. There's nothing you can do about that. Like, and I had to learn the hard way through multiple failed relationships. Like, it's really nothing you can do about that shit, bro. And I don't want y'all out here getting y'all heartbroken, man. Y'all keep that shit pee no cap. How do y'all feel about stud on stud? Me, personally, I don't care. Like, you can do your shit. I just want to do it. Like, yeah. I just feel like if I'm going to do that, I'm like, yeah, and, and that ain't to make none of y'all feel this type of way, the studs don't studs, but like, that's a lot of people's mindset. A lot, I feel like a lot of studs got that mindset, like, if I'm finna be with another masculine, you know, woman, I might as well talk to them. <coughs> I ain't gonna lie, I think
speak like that sometimes, but then again, it's like, it's just, that ain't my preference. I don't like another woman masculine like me or dominant like me. That That's honestly a turn off for me. So I couldn't date another stud. Next question. How do y'all deal with y'all period? I don't get cramps. Like, it's weird. Damn, my, bro, you lucky. I know. I know. <laughs> I don't know it's crazy, though, but yeah, I don't get cramps. Like, that stuff, it just, I don't know. Like, so, when I'm on my period, it be a breeze. And then my periods don't be long either. I don't know. It, it lasts, like, maybe, like, three days, four days. Damn, and, you look and, my, and my worst days is probably be the, the first. Look, you look red like I be going I through it. Crazy, but, yeah, I'm happy. How I deal with mine, I, just a tip. You don't have to wear panties on your period. They have um boxer briefs. Like, a lot of studs ask me that, like, what should I wear? Yeah, yeah, like, they be asking, like, what should I wear on my period? They have actual small, like, go to H&M. H&M got them. That's why I be getting mine, y'all. No cap, I get y'all the sauce. Like, go to H&M and go to their boxer briefs. Them are like tight spandex shorts that you can wear on your period that'll hold, like if you wear pants or anything, like it'll, it'll support your, you know, it'll support your cycle. So I would say do that, but all right, yeah, my shit, I ain't gonna lie, I'll be salty. My shit be like a week, bro. <laughs> I be salty as fuck and I hate it. But I, one thing I learned, y'all, this is another tip. They said if you eat a lot of red meat, it causes you to have a longer period. And I eat, yeah, bro, I eat a lot of meat. Like, I have to look that shit up because I'm like, damn, my muscle, you know, we're not supposed to bleed at all. Really? Yeah, we're not supposed to, you can say it, really? Because I know we're not supposed to, like, our bodies naturally, like, if y'all really look that shit up, bro, you know, I be in tune with my body. You're not supposed to actually bleed at all. And that's why a lot of people go vegan and vegetarian. I guess we just learned something new. But yeah, no cap. They said, how do y'all keep females in check? <laughs> Slap their <head. laughs> No, 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 y'all, we joking, we joking, we joking, we joking. How do you keep your females in check, bro? <laughs> I just talk to them, like, keep their ass in check while that way. Like, but shit, I feel like the the best you can do is have to talk some sense to their ass. And yeah. You can't. Them. Set your boundaries and let them know what's going on. That shit don't be a simple. Yeah, that's facts, bro. I say it's literally that. Like, you gotta, like, first you gotta peripheral. You got another type of female you dealing with to know how to put her in her place. Real shit. Because some of these females really be on 10 and you, it's really hard to put them in their place. But once you learn your female, bro, you gonna learn how to, you know, get her back to the right state of mind. Period. That's just how I feel. Alright, next question. We gonna do... This getting good, bro. <laughs> we gonna do a couple of more, y'all. Um, they said, how do you know if a straight girl is interested or curious? That's a good question. That is, cause they be doing slick stuff. They do. Like, you gotta pay attention to the signs. They be like, sometimes that girl is like, they'll do a little one, two, like, Look, kids, look, yeah. um, see you, yeah. or look, it's something, bro. And then, like, even, like, with the medias, like, they do their little one, too, like, your pictures, and you you would just peep it, like, you would just peep it. And then, like, sometimes, like, you can, throw, like, that's that's when I say, like, you just got to throw yourself out there sometimes. So, like, even if you see, like, a girl, a straight girl, and you slide up on a story, and, like, you say something, like, just a hard out or something, yeah. you know, something like that, and to see what the response back, and they give you kind of, like, a flirty type of, like, too flirty yeah, down here, you'll like, be like, nah, like, she ain't really, uh -huh. you know, like, a real, like, a real bisexual, I say bisexual, or, like, a gay girl, they gon' They gonna be chill. Like I feel like most females gonna keep that shit smooth. They ain't gonna do too much. They ain't gonna send too many hard eyes. Like yeah. you just gonna be like the right amount. You yeah. gonna be like you gonna know. Hey, yeah, ain't the right, they right amount. Lot, <laughs> lot, they ask a lot of questions too about like liking girls. And, yes, like, bro. Like, yes, bro. You like, can be girls, like, what you do and how is it like? <laughs> yes, bro. Like I never did this yes, before. So hard, like, like <laughs> just, I don't know. Yeah, it's just different. I, okay, this is a good one. Somebody said. Why do studs be so against messing with a big slash plus size femme? Big girls need love too. All right, all right, I'm gonna just keep it simple. Um, I don't know, like my, my, I always been attracted to small petite women. I, it is nothing against big girls. It's just that it's always been my choice. I'm gonna just keep it that simple. All my girls was little with Taylor, so it's the same thing. Yeah, and I don't want to be on some like lame ass, like I couldn't handle like fucking a big girl or something, but no cap, like I don't like, I don't really like having sex with somebody bigger than me. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I like to be able to handle my girl, like, and they ain't even on no weak shit. I just like being like, I don't know.
Beat them down. Simple. Fuck what they talking about. You just want to beat them down. Beat the doonies down. Let me get it going for y'all. Why do studs feel like they have to be aggressive? We out of here. It's a cold world we live in. One where love can turn into hate. And real is almost always fake.